All right, so I want to talk real quick about the uh, second round of new titles that have been announced post-Secret Wars. And I just wanted to say that, you know, they've now announced two new titles post-Secret Wars from Marvel. And one, I, I really like the team, the art, uh, you know, the creative team behind it, but I'm just kind of worried about it. And the second one, I'm like, okay, I, I like this one. I like where this title's going. So let's talk real quick about the first one. The Hulk title. Now, most of you guys know Hulk's my favorite character, so when they announced, you know, Greg Pak was returning to do Hulk along with artwork by Frank Cho, I was like, okay, Frank Cho's a pretty good artist, not so much a, you know, I didn't care much for his Savage Wolverine in his writing, but uh, I do like the idea of Frank, of Greg Pak coming back. Uh, he did some of my favorite stuff outside of, you know, of course, Peter David. I mean, I absolutely love Planet Hulk, and World War Hulk was pretty good, too. Not so much an event, but still. <laughs> uh, and a lot of the other stuff Pac did was really fun as well. So, the idea of him returning to Hulk was nothing short of, Oh, yeah! But then I saw the title. Totally Awesome Hulk. Okay, guys, Marvel, we need to talk. Naming your title... Totally awesome Hulk does not make the title does not make it sound totally awesome. Are we in the fucking nineties again? Seriously, Pac, I love you, and you know Cho, you're a really good artist. But seriously, um, what the hell was going through your mind when you're like totally awesome? Oh God! Now, admittedly, it's Greg Pak behind this, and Greg Pak has done no wrong in my book. He's done some really just amazing stuff over at Marvel and DC as well, and he's an amazing writer. I think he's under, I think he's vastly underrated by most people. But having said that, though, I'm just kind of like, we're okay. We're going with that title. Uh, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. But yeah, it's, for those who don't know, yeah, Banner is apparently dying. Yeah, p b the uh, gamma radiation that's been with him for so long is now apparently killing him, and now he's going to become, you know, he's we don't know if he's dead or not, and a, and a new Hulk is taking over. Now, it's not going to be Ross, it's not going to be Rick Jones, it's going to be someone completely new. Hell, for all we know, J you know, Betty, Br uh, you know, uh, Betty could be the new Hulk. But it looks like it's going to be a dude, so who knows. Also, for some reason, they covered up the face and one of the arms. I have no idea what exactly, what the hell that means exactly. So we'll just, I guess we'll just have to wait and see on, you know, on that account, I think. Yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see what, uh, what, that's, uh, what that's going to behold and ensue in the future. But yeah, totally awesome Hulk does not make the ti does not make it sound totally awesome. But having said that, though, I really want to give this the benefit of the doubt. I really want to give this this uh, this uh, this title benefit of the doubt because, well, Greg Pak has done some amazing stuff on Hulk, and I he's one of, I really do love him as a writer, and Frank Cho is a really good artist. So I really want to back this creative team, but I don't know that it, maybe it's maybe it's just because of the titles throwing me off. I don't know. So anyway, let's go on to the second title that is being post-Secret Wars, and this I'm really excited for. I'm also really excited for this. Uh, A-Forces. Now, A-Force is from Secret Wars, and apparently that's being taken to the Marvel Universe, and it will be... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It will be part of this... from Secret Wars here, on to here. And for those who don't know, A-Force is basically an all-female Avengers team that came out during the whole battle... Uh, that's going on during Battle World. And, yeah, it's being written by G. Willow Wilson, the writer currently on Miss Marvel, and, I, and she's now doing this big team. I think this is really cool. I think this is really cool that, because the first five characters on this team are She-Hulk, yeah, She-Hulk, Jennifer's the leader, good, good honor, Medusa, okay, uh, yeah, I, could, I know why they're putting her there, Captain Marvel, again, you know, really popular character, uh, Dazzler, that one really took me by surprise that we're getting Dazzler on here, because, you know, we're getting another X-Men character, and I was like, phew, I thought that it was just going to be Wolverine who was going to get all the love. But yeah, um, we are getting Dazzler, which is, I always like Dazzler. Uh, I believe that's Nebula, or I can't remember the other one with, the, with all the galaxy powers name. And the one that really made me go, oh, thank God, Marvel, <laughs> thank God, was right there, right above Dazzler, is Sister Grimm, a.k.a. Nico. 
I was like, oh, God, from Runaways. Because for those who don't know, I really like the Runaways. I really absolutely love the Runaways tight from Brian K. Vaughn. And I was really worried, you know, when, you know, Axel Alonzo was going on about, oh, we're going to get rid of certain characters, they're going to be gone, and we're going to replace them with new and all different characters. Like, that doesn't sound good for a lot of the younger characters, does it? And some, and a majority of them were the Runaways. But seeing her post, uh, Secret, you know, Secret Wars, I was like, oh, phew, she was my favorite character on Runaways, so I'm really glad that she's, you know, sister, you know, Nico is still alive and still around after this. But that kind of brings up, that also kind of leaves me with another question. What happened to Chase? What happened to everybody else? What happened to Victor? What happened to everybody else? I'm really worried about everyone else now. Even the, the genetically altered Velociraptor. God, I can't, I, I'm scared now. I don't know um, what happened to the rest of them. Was it only Nico who survived Battle World? I don't know. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm glad she survived, but did everyone else die? That's what I'm worried about right now. I mean, cool that now she's gone from, you know, run, you know, runaway to superhero, you know, to major superhero, but still that kind of leaves the question, where did everybody else go? Anyway, so, <clears throat> um, yeah. Having said that, you know, voicing my concerns, I am really, inter really interested in this title. Unlike with uh, DC, where I was like, oh, uh, you know, DC really had some really, inter you know, really, I wouldn't say interesting, really just 90s ideas. These are like, okay, I'm a little worried about them, but I still want to give them a shot. God damn it, Marvel. You, I think you've looked at the New 52 and said, yeah, you see that? We're not doing that. I think that, yeah, I think Axel Alonso, uh, Axel Alonso, when you guys got together and was like, you looked at the New 52, and then con what happened in Convergence, you all looked at each other, you all looked at everybody and just said, yeah, you see that, that clusterfuck there? Let's not do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, it doesn't look like a full-out reboot, it looks more like it's going to be just another chapter in the Marvel Universe. That's what it's shaping up to be, rather than a full-on reboot. Because like I said before, if, if, with these reboots, you either go all in, or you don't do it at all. That's the big thing here, is that you either, you know, you put your cards on the table, or you don't fucking do it at all, because then, I mean, look at the New 52, that really was a cluster fucking of itself. But then, you know, you had this, you know, you have what Marvel's doing right now, and it's just like, yeah, there's some things out there that are still kind of, don't get me wrong, again, totally awesome Hulk, and, you know, what happened to the Runaways, hell, what happened to Victor Alvarez, what happened to all these other young characters in the Marvel Universe, what happened to them? So, really interested to see where they're going to go with that, I mean, yeah, glad X-23 is still around, is now Wolverine, but yeah, what the hell is going to happen next is my big question. So anyway, uh, what do you guys, once again, uh, what do you guys think of this title of uh, both Totally Awesome Hulk and A-Force? Are you guys interested? Are you guys excited? Just comment below, let me know, and once again, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.